grease fires. When it comes to the four main food groups, we're all pretty clear as to their identity. Deep fried dough, deep fried potatoes, deep fried meat, and a newcomer, deep fried giant entire turkeys cooked in giant jumbo sized deep fryers filled with massive amounts of oil but there's a dark side to these foods besides expanding waistline potential three two one if you are not careful they can kill you now we go inside a grease fire and find out that oil and water not only don't mix, they actively despise each other. I think this is a really bad idea. Three, two, one. It was a really bad idea. Boom! <laughs> Let's start with the basics. I think we got it. <laughs> a shotgun marriage of oil, water, and flame presided over by Deputy Fire Chief know? Jay Fleming. Well, that's why we don't want you to put water on a grease fire. This is the method that most fire officials recommend. Cut off the oxygen, and that puts the fire out. Well, that's good to know. What you want to do, though, is turn the gas off right afterwards. Because if you don't, and you took the lid off, once the oxygen reaches the fire again, it's just going to go off. So you put the lid on, turn off the heat, walk away, call the fire department. Much better than our method. I think so. Let's look at this on high speed. So it's like there's a mixture of steam cloud inside the combustible vapor cloud. That's an amazing shot. You said it, Chief. By time warping the cooking pot at 170 times slower than normal speed, we see what looks like a volcanic eruption. Here's where we usually tell you don't try this at home. But in this case, thousands accidentally do with horrific results. All these little dots that we see that look like little fireworks, that's the oil that's been shot out by the steam. Yep, and it's igniting. Vaporizing and igniting. Yeah. To really see what's happening when these two liquids meet head on, we need to look inside the pot. Once again, we'll pour water into oil heated to its ignition point. And stand back. Way, right, way back. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Blink and you missed it. What makes the entire area ignite so quickly? It's worth a replay. <laughs> Alright, so there goes the water in. The water expands almost instantaneously. It's amazing to see the water expand in the oil. so fast. This whole thing is, you know, maybe a 50th of a second for it to reach all the way to the other side. And now we have this shower where it looks like there's no worry about a fire. There's water everywhere. And it ignites. And then it ignites. As it boils over, cooking oil comes in contact with the flame under the pot. Watch again. overflowing there's a lot of water droplets but there's also a lot of oil too now remember that oil was already heated to its flash point now right. we didn't ignite it in the beaker but as the oil comes down at its flash point and it hits the burner boom just, that's when it it's ignites. just waiting to go off yeah matt you set we're good to go now the ultimate simulation water hits vat of oil all right good to go three two one This is what would happen if a frozen turkey, or anything large and frozen, hit a vat of boiling oil. It's not a pretty sight. So this is the problem with the frozen turkey. They drop the turkey in, causes this steam explosion just like we had before, and you can get this situation. Do this at home, and those grease droplets could come in contact with the heat source. You could be engulfed in flames, and your house burns down. You've been warned.
looks like one of those flamethrower type explosions you see in war movies with the special effects and people can create those in their backyard if they're not careful and this isn't just a, a flame growing this is an explosion i mean this happened in fractions of a second i mean we were a good 20 feet away and it was almost painful if we had been exposed for much longer yep. we're not used to it like you are it was painful <laughs> So what if we learn? Deep fried food tastes real good. Oil, water, and fire don't play well together. And never, ever, ever deep fry a whole frozen turkey. Three, two, one. We just showed what can happen when oil, water, and fire mix. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, one cup of water, and we have a 20-foot... So the way to do that is you go to safetyhelpers.com. From there you go to our seminar training tab. There you'll see a listing of the available hands-on session classes uh, that you may sign up for. Now these will be public classes. Hope to see you soon. And uh, anything you want to add, Kyle? That's it, guys. Make That's sure you go guy. to safetyhelpers.com. You can always call us with any questions. Our phone number is toll-free, 800 482-4319. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck. Thank you.